Because it does take around about an hour to go through and actually, you know, do it um, physically. So you're going to have to go and do this. So the steps are you write down everything that you're currently doing. And then you go through and put, just put down everything, no matter how big or how small. Because most people run their whole business on autopilot. They're, they just do it all instinctively. And they, in, if, if, if that's the only way your business operates, it's always going to revolve you. And you're never going to be able to delegate something to somebody else. So you have to get it out of your head and document it. Then what you're going to do, and I recommend sometimes closing your eyes and visualizing and thinking about a normal day. Or one of the things that you could do is get a little card like this, okay, carry it around in your pocket. And every time you um, are doing a task, you pull it out and you write it down. So you have a big long list of all the things that you do. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start to separate that list into daily, weekly, monthly tasks. So there's some things that you have to do every day in your business. Maybe, for example, it's checking your email. But there are other tasks you don't have to do every day. You only have to do every week. And so you put that under the weekly column. And then underneath that, you do the monthly. And then you've got other stuff. Maybe it's done quarterly or maybe it's done once a year. Step number three is to separate those tasks. Separate those tasks. Um, and the way that you do that is circle anything that you can, that's repetitive. Anything that's done repetitively can probably be systematized or I know can be systematized. And then what you're going to do is you're going to build a system around that. We'll get to how to do that in just a sec. Now, my, f my belief is that your first goal is to get somebody else to give you support. And that's what we'd call that personal assistant or perhaps a, a virtual assistant, okay? And I believe it doesn't really matter what size business that you're at, you're going to need somebody that can act on your behalf and can do things when you're not actually around, okay? So when I'm away um, on a trip, then Emma's probably going to check my Facebook um, friend messages. So she does a lot of stuff almost as if it's it's me because I don't have the time to do everything myself. So you need someone that's in your head and that can get rid of a lot of stuff that's on your plate. And you need that no matter if you're just starting out. Your first staff member should be a virtual assistant. And even if you've got 100 staff, you should still have a personal assistant or a virtual assistant. It never changes. So that's the first role that you need to create no matter how big your business is. And so what you can start to do is separate those lists. And you try to get as many, many things off your plate and onto somebody else's plate, as many things as you can. And so you then redo this list and only hold on to the things that you absolutely must do and everything else you put across to the other list over there.